Okay. Am I nice and clear in focus? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Hi everybody, it's Talia here from The Climbing Tree and I have my monthly Hebrew months video for you today for the month of Shavuot. And I know that I'm really late in putting this up. It is Wednesday today, I think, and on Sunday night and Monday was Tu Bishvat. So obviously that was halfway through the month on the full moon. So I'm really, really late with this video, but I just thought, no excuses, I need to just put it down. I've had a like crazy, actually the, the month of January for us is like always really, really crazy. We've always just finished Hanukkah and Ellie's birthday. Then we just go straight into Lior and the Harvest birthdays. Um, it's summertime, we're doing things, we've got activities on, we wanna be enjoying summer. And, and in this particular case, we went away on a holiday as well. Plus I did a bunch of work. So it's just, it, that's my excuse, but no excuses. <laughs> so let's start with recapping on the month of Tibet. So my goals that I said I had was to establish a healthy eating routine, to meditate daily, and to create a summer morning routine. So with um, the healthy eating routine, I, not sure I'd exactly call it a routine, but I definitely uh, did some reading, wrote up some menu plans, I um, even bought a couple of new books. I bought this book, which looks really lovely, on um, like Middle Eastern food and other than, you know, there are a bunch of things that I can't really eat in here, but a lot of it I can, which is really exciting. Um, so that's a really nice one. And then I also bought, bought this one, which is a vegetarian Middle Eastern book. And these were only $3 each, can you believe? So um, that's really good. So I've got a bit of inspiration. I've been reading other books. i am uh, got my sort of detox plan and I made a lot of really positive changes in the month. So even though I may not say I established a healthy eating routine, I definitely made a lot of progress in this area and I saw a lot of benefit in my in my life and so I'm really I'm happy with that. In terms of meditating daily, I definitely did not meditate daily, um, but I meditated a lot more frequently than what I had the previous month, and so that's a win in my book. Um, if I have to write meditate daily on my goals every month for the rest of the year, that's okay. You know, it takes time, and I want it to be sustainable for me, and so adding extra days in all the time is probably the best option in doing that. In saying that, I listened to a really interesting podcast uh, just the other day, so this was in Shabbat, um, that was sort of saying about how meditation doesn't have to be sitting down and doing your meditation for five minutes, ten minutes, half an hour, an hour, whatever. It can be as simple as when you go to the bathroom, just, you know, when you wash your hands after you've been to the toilet, um, letting that be a meditation, doing that really purposefully and mindfully, imagining just like your negative energy, your stress or whatever, leaving your hands as you wash your hands and that that can be a really good meditation that literally takes up no extra time than what you would already spend on that activity. So I want to try to do more of that but we'll get to that. For sure. And... What was the last one, the half up? Create a summer morning routine. And I decided I don't really want a summer morning routine. I want to sleep in as much as I can in summer and I want to stay up late if I need to stay up late. And actually, I don't really want to stay up late. I went to bed like very reasonable times, really all of summer, because <laughs> I want to get good sleep. I thought this is a great opportunity to get really good sleep. So I want to be able to have that give my body what it needs and if it needs to have a longer time of sleeping then I want to I want to give it that time so um, I decided I wasn't going to focus so much on the summer morning routine but in conjunction with my healthy eating I started to make sure that I had uh, breakfast you know I was often just juicing for breakfast which I really enjoy 
and so I did have some sort of routine maybe the summer morning routine we did have it in the end it was perfect it was very casual and relaxed and we didn't fit everything in that we need to but we're back to school next week and I'm sure we will be you know on track with things a bit more then so that's how my goals for Tibet went I'm pretty happy with it it wasn't perfect but it never is and that's okay so Shabbat um, what are the themes of Shabbat? Well, the themes are about like newness, saying yes to things, um, freshness, growth. The idea is that like in Israel, that this is it's still cold, but this is the almost like the start of spring in some ways. That it's the <clears throat> it's the internal work that needs to be done for spring to come. You know in the next few months so um, it's yeah it's about it's about newness it's about growth it's about you know um, carrying on from the previous month oh remember the previous month to vet anger was a big theme and I definitely found that I had to process a lot of anger I did a lot of internal work in that way and it was like really beneficial for me so Shabbat is about continuing on from that. What are the things you learnt? How can you establish good new things in your life um, to continue that forward? So with that in mind, my goals for Shabbat are to continue with and stick to the healthy eating goals from Tibet and the things I've already established. Um, so that's been like very strict on these foods that I'm intolerant to and that inflame my thyroid and stuff like that um, having a no no nonsense no compromise sort of approach to that um, to take the supplements I need to take which have all run out like this week so and I've noticed a real this last few days have been hard as the supplements have like really left my system and I've realized I really need these things so my other Shabbat goal is to choose one draining thing from my life and actively get rid of it. And that was kind of um, difficult to think of, but I think what I just have decided on, well, what I have decided on is about like my phone. Can't get rid of my phone altogether. It's very useful for a lot of things, obviously, but I just want to stop um, having it with me all the time. Uh, to do this is to just put it up for periods of time in the day just have it have it on loud so if it rings or whatever I can answer it like a old-school home phone and then I've making sure I'm using my big camera that I'm filming on now a lot of the time so that I can still have photos and videos and things like this with my kids which is sort of was my excuse for always having my phone with me um, but I just use my proper camera which takes much nicer photos anyway and yeah and then I'm not having my phone all the time so that's what I'm trying to get rid of it's it's only going so so well um, at the moment hopefully by the end of the month I'll have a better report for you on how that's going and the other thing I want to do is my other goal is to choose one nourishing thing and actively include more of it this month and so I my ideas were like meditation, Torah study, this sort of thing. I decided to do both of those because the meditation thing is like, I'm carrying that on from last month. I really want to get that on track. I really want to be doing that um, frequently and, you know, able to do it lots of places. I've, yeah, I'm doing pretty good with that too. Um, I've taken a bunch of... Um, really small moments and try to just meditate in in two minutes that I have with that and I think all of that time is beneficial so um, I'm doing that we did a great the kids and I did a really great meditation in the car for to be Shvat, um, where we did the meditation I just sort of walk them through it um, thinking about how they're like a tree and their roots in Torah and their values being like their trunk and their body the trunk of the tree and their body and how then like their their arms and their hands are like the fruit of the tree and this is like um, the things that happen the good things that we see happening the value that we see from these 
root, strong roots we have and all this kind of stuff. You get the idea. I've, I've not done justice, but, you know, that sort of thing. So we've been doing that a fair bit. And then the for the Torah study, I signed up to a bunch of um, newsletters and I'm committed to reading or listening to something like every day and that's a big challenge and I haven't done it every day but I'm I'm making the effort and I feel like this will be a good thing I want to I mean the the goal is just to actively include more of it this month so I don't have to do it every day that's not the goal and I probably won't do it every day but I'm I think I am actively trying to include it and trying to think of it. So, yeah, that is my goal for Shabbat. Um, it wasn't a very detailed one. I'm sorry. I'm just sort of trying to quickly get this done so I can get it up for you today. And it's not, you know, the slowest, most awful thing ever. I'll probably be back as soon as, maybe not next week. What are we at? Uh, not, maybe not next week, the week after. I'll be back with Adar. So we have, it's a leap year this year. So we have two Adars. So that'll be interesting. I wonder what that would be. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And definitely subscribe if you want to see more Jewish mum content. Thanks.